In this video, you will learn about Azure Virtuous ThreadX and TraceX, from installing E2 Studio to creating a project and installing and using TraceX. The hardware used is the Renesis CKRX 65N board. E2 onboard debugger is included, so debugging is possible with this board alone. Microsoft Azure Virtuous includes Azure Virtuous ThreadX, an advanced real-time operating system designed specifically for deeply embedded applications. Azure RTOS ThreadX is provided as a C library, so only services that are actually used are linked. Azure RTOS ThreadX has the following features. TraceX is a host-based graphical analysis tool from Microsoft Corporation that allows developers to visualize real-time system events. It provides detailed execution information, including event timing, task execution profiles, and performance statistics, enabling users to detect bugs and identify performance bottlenecks. Here's how to make it work with the latest tools based on the application notes. Download E2 Studio 2023-2004 to from the website. Select the installer for Windows. For the method of installing the E2 Studio, select products at the top of a page on the Renesis website and then RX 32-bit performance slash efficiency MCUs. After that, click on how to videos, tools slash solutions. Find the video on how to install the E2 Studio under the tool features category. Install Microsoft Azure Virtuous TraceX. Please install from Microsoft Web. For the method of creating a project, refer to creating a ThreadX project in the E2 Studio in the Azure RTOS TraceX for Azure RTOS ThreadX debugging application note. Select Renesis C slash C++ project and Renesis RX from New in the File menu. Select Renesis CCRX executable project. Enter a project name and click on Next. Enter the same project name as is shown in the application note. Select Azure RTOS for RTOS. An error message Azure RTOS package is not found will be shown. Proceed with downloading the package. Select the latest version of the Azure RTOS module and download it. Select CKRX 65 n 4 target board. Click on Next. Confirm that ThreadX sample project is selected, then click on Next. Click on Finish to complete project creation. The project has now been created. Before connecting the board to the host PC, refer to Chapter 3, Setting the CKRX 65N Board and Connection to the Host PC of the Application Note. As a setting to make on the board, remove the jumper from J17 to make it open circuit and to form the connection with the debug side. To open the component, select the .scfg file and click on the Components tab. The icon 4R underscore CMT underscore RX is not present so is grayed out. Click on Downloading it in the message. Clicking on OK completes downloading of the components. In this video, the version of Azure RTOS ThreadX has already been updated. After that, make the settings for ThreadX. As described in the application note, enable properties for the ThreadX component. Next, add a port in the component. Set P25 to output to control the LEDs on the board. The initial value is set to 1. Generate code to generate source. Open hardware underscore setup.c and copy and paste the application note description. Add code for blinking LEDs. Change the value of the timer to adjust the LED blinking speed. Change the period of the timer from 100 to 8. Now that the changes are complete, build the project. Open debug configuration to run. Check that the emulator and target device match. Green LED blinks when connected to board. Check the contents of connection settings and run debugging. Red LED blinks when the program is executed. This is an explanation of the sample program. Open demo thread.c. Display the outline view. Clicking on thread 0 to thread 6 and 7 shown in the outline view makes the display jump to the individual functions. A comment is present at the top of each function. The application note gives an overview of each of the functions. Add code to create data for TraceX. A buffer for TraceX is required in the program. Copy the definition of the variable that the application note includes. Add the copied code to the top part of demo thread.c. Next, add the API function for starting TraceX. Add the copied function call to the top of the TX underscore application underscore defined function. The settings have now been finished. Proceed with building. In this example, the buffer size is set to 16 bytes. However, you can set it to a greater value if the RAM has enough available space. 
Display the RTOS resources, view and specify ThreadX as the OS. Information on the RTOS can be displayed. Next, select Enable Loading Stack Data in the Stack Setting dialog box. Information on TraceX is stored in the buffer that was added as a variable. Add a watch expression to view the variable. Execute the program for a little while and then stop it. The RTOS resources view will display the results of tracing. Open the memory view so that you can save trace information. Display the address of the variable added as a watch expression in the memory view. This is information on the trace buffer. Save the contents of the memory view in a file. Select raw binary for format and enter rx azure rtos thread X dot trx as file name. The data file for azure rtos tracex has now been saved. Start Azure RTOS TraceX and load the trace data file you just created. Data are displayed as shown on this screen. Data can be displayed in either the sequential view mode or the time view mode. Trace information is displayed when a data file is read. The sequential view events are shown immediately following each other, regardless of the elapsed time between them. Helps to get an overview of how the system works. Time view mode is especially useful to see where the bulk of processing is taking place in the system. It helps to tune the system to improve performance and responsiveness. For a detailed explanation of TraceX, please refer to the following Microsoft website. There is also a RX user form that you can take advantage of.